All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about are goggles. Narrowed it down to three of my favorites, and these are the ones I've kept. Pretty much sold everything else. You'll notice there are different kinds of cylindrical lens. It's one plane. They also have spherical lenses. As the name suggests, it's a spherical shape. You pay more for the spherical lens, but I will highly recommend them. They're just much more comfortable to wear. In terms of visibility, you don't get a lot of deformed images when you're looking through spherical lenses. This is the Oakley Pro Bar Asian Fit added foam padding on the nose right here. It's just a little thicker. For a guy like me with a small nose, this is very valuable. When you wear goggles, the larger they are, especially with a smaller nose, you're gonna get a hole above your nose. A lot of the wind when you're riding, you tend to get really cold around your eyes. It could give you a headache. It's just very uncomfortable over time. That added piece of foam padding there does help quite a bit in terms of blocking out the wind. This lens is a chrome bronze lens for day riding, bluebirds. Once you start getting into the overcast or or snowy days or even at nighttime, this tends to be too dark. So I would only stick to this for daytime riding. Another favorite of mine is the Electric EG2. Maximum coverage in terms of visibility. Again, another spherical lens, a red gold chrome lens, bronze lens inside, made for daytime riding, bluebirds. Not as much padding on the nose as the Asian Fit Crowbar, but just based on the fit of these goggles, it's not really an issue. It's very comfortable to wear. Both of these goggles I can wear over or under the helmet in terms of the straps. And of course, I do a lot of night riding here in Toronto or Collingwood or Glen Eden. So with that, I basically just wanted another lens for my EG2. However, instead of having to change lenses every time and I didn't want to pull on the frame every time I wanted to change lenses, I decided to buy another frame. This is a yellow lens, slightly chromed on the outer as well. It's a very lightly tinted lens. It's great for night riding. Blue lens is also good for night riding. This is something I'd wear once it gets darker than overcast. So again, my favorites, electric EG2, day and night. On colder days when I know I want more added protection for my nose, I'll wear the Oakley Crowbar Asian Fit. In terms of price, these are probably one of the more expensive things I've purchased. My first EG2 that I purchased cost me $150 from a store in Whistler. The second pair that I purchased, I was able to get off Whiskey Militia. I think I got them for $80, so that was a great deal. I had to purchase the extra lenses, however, straight from Electric, but they were really cool about it. I think I got them for 30 bucks. And this, I actually was able to get from True Snow at no cost. As a member, the more reward points you accumulate at True Snow, more rewards you get to claim. And these were the goggles I got when I reached 1500 points. Now there are some features that you should look for when you're looking at goggles. What you will find on higher priced, higher tier goggles is a lot of ventilation. So you get that here on the top, you get it on the actual lens as well, and you get it underneath as well. Very important for fog control. Most goggles will have anti-fog spray on the inner part of the lens, but over time, the more you breathe into your mask or if you're just riding and starting to sweat around your eyes, you're gonna get a lot of moisture buildup and it's gonna fog up your lens. These vents really do play a role in just letting the right amount of wind and air come in while you're riding to keep your face ventilated and to keep the lens from fogging up. You'll notice that here as well, full vent here on top of the crowbar. Added two vents underneath here, air holes on the actual lens as well. If you find any goggles out there that don't have these air holes, they're most likely not meant for snowboarding. Great added features on these straps is they have little strips across the entire strap for added grip in case you want to wear it over your helmet and you don't want it to slide around. I like the added wings of the crowbar. When you're putting this over or under your helmet, you get better clearance with the strap. It doesn't just rest on your face. It's just more comfortable when you're wearing these.